Today we will hear the call of Peter. God has a plan, and from the beginning, you have been in God's plan. St. Paul tells us in the letter to the Ephesians that God has chosen us in Christ before the world was made. Advent comes to us at the darkest time of the year. Advent is a time of waiting, actively waiting for the great light to come into the world. We live in an in-between time, a time between the first coming of Christ as an infant in a manger and his second coming in glory. Advent waiting means preparing to become messengers of light and hope to a world darkened by loneliness, fear, and anxiety, especially now during this time of pandemic. Last week, we heard the call of Moses. An angel, a messenger of God, appears in the form of a burning bush. And when Moses focuses his attention on it, then scripture says, the Lord saw that he had turned aside to see, and God called to him out of the burning bush, Moses, Moses. This turning aside to see is what we are doing here in this time of Lexio. So let us now invite the Holy Spirit to come and enlighten our minds and our hearts. Come Holy Spirit and be present among us now here in this virtual space where we are gathered together. Open our minds and our hearts to hear the word, the word who was with God, the word who is God, the word who became flesh and dwelt among us. As we ponder this great mystery, let us listen to our opening song. To quiet our minds and to prepare ourselves to hear the Lord's call. Perhaps the Lord will see that we have turned aside.
When Moses asked God, what is your name? God said, I am. I am is present. We spend so much time in the past and in the future that we tend to ignore this present moment. Where God dwells, it is in fact the only moment we really have. The past is gone, the future doesn't exist yet. The only thing we have is this present moment where God dwells. So I'm going to invite you now to focus on your breath. This breath that is given to us at birth, that will be taken from us when we die, this is our life breath. It helps us to become aware of the present moment, aware that we are alive, and aware that this life is indeed a gift given to us. And so I invite you to sit with a straight back, if you can, and your feet on the floor. Perhaps your hands just resting gently on your lap. And I invite you to take a, a few deep breaths to get into the rhythm of your breathing. And as you breathe in, say, I know this is my in-breath. And as you breathe out, this is my out-breath. In-breath and out-breath. See if you can trace your breath from the beginning until the end. As your breath rises within you and slowly releases from you. in and out. I know I'm breathing in and I know I'm breathing out. And now aware of God's presence on the in-breath, you may say holy, and on the out-breath, spirit. Holy Spirit. Keeping the rhythm of your breathing. I'm going to go over with you the four R's of Lexio Divina, the four step dance, we can call it. The first part will be is the read, reading, listening. We will listen to the words.
as you listen, try to hear it as though it's the first time you've heard those words. Allow God to lead this conversation for you. It's a time to open up to the unexpected. To let the words resound in you. So listening to the reading, that's the first R. The second is reflecting. As you listen, perhaps a word or a phrase will stay with you. You may even not want that word or phrase, but it will stay with you. Hold it. Don't think about it. Don't analyze it. Just hold it. Reflect. Respond. The third R. Is this question arising in my heart? Asking something of me? Will I allow this word into my life? to affect me today? And then resting. Resting in the Holy Spirit. Allowing the word to be present to me allowing the Trinity to be present as I hold this word. Perhaps a prayer will rise in my heart. So we will read Peter's call from the Gospel of John because this is a time of Advent and we're waiting. And we will hear the Baptist this coming second Sunday of Advent as a messenger. And so we'll read the word once and allow you to spend about a minute or so And then we'll read it again. As we read, listen for any word or phrase that sticks to you. Hold it. Don't worry about it or think about it. Wait. See if there's a question that rises inside of you or a word from the Lord. And we'll respond. And then we'll break into small groups to share. So Cynthia will begin proclaiming this word. A reading from the Gospel according to John. The next day, as John stood there again with two of his disciples, Jesus went past. And John looked towards him and said, Look, there is the Lamb of God. And the two disciples heard what he said and followed Jesus. Jesus turned around, saw them following, and said, What 
do you want? They answered, Rabbi, which means teacher. Where do you live? He replied, come and see. So they went and saw where he lived and stayed with him that day. It was about the 10th hour. One of these two who became followers of Jesus, after hearing what John had said, was Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter. The first thing Andrew did was to find his brother and say to him, we have found the Messiah, which means the Christ. And he took Simon to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, you are Simon, son of John. You are to be called Cephas, which means rock. The next day, as John stood there again with two of his disciples, Jesus went past. And John looked towards him and said, Look, there is the Lamb of God. And the two disciples heard what he said and followed Jesus. Jesus turned round, saw them following, and said, What do you want? They answered, Rabbi, which means teacher. Where do you live? He replied, Come and see. So they went and saw where he lived and stayed with him that day. It was about the 10th hour. One of these two who became followers of Jesus after hearing what John had said was Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter. The first thing Andrew did was to find him and say to him, we found the Messiah, which means the Christ. And he took Simon to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, 
son of John. You are to be called Cephas, which means rock. So in our last minute, um, I would just like you to think about uh, who brought you to Jesus. Who are you bringing to Jesus? Perhaps what you would reply if Jesus asked you, what do you want? And I invite you to remain attentive today, this day, keeping those questions in your heart and offering to the Lord whatever comes to your mind. So we thank you, Lord, for gathering us here. We thank you for this time that we've had together. We thank you for calling each and every one of us by our name. We ask you to remain in our hearts and in our minds this day as we continue being in your presence by focusing on our breath. So any moment you have this day where you may feel um, tired or stressed or just focus on your breathing in and out and remember your life is a gift and that God loves us so much that we can barely understand that. So we make this prayer in the name of Jesus, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you, Lucy. <laughs> Thanks.